Why Lily Led Better and Not Vera Richardson. It's been three years since President Obama signed the January 29, 2009 Lily Led Better Fair Pay Restoration Act. According to the New York Times, when President Obama signed the act, he stated that there are no second-class citizens in our workplace. Like Lily, I was a victim of employment discrimination. My case was dismissed based on seven perjured declarations and or dispositional testimony filed by former Democratic Attorney General and Governor Elliot Spitzer. Since the United States Supreme Court refused to review the lower court orders that denied me a jury trial and New York State Democratic Governor Cuomo has refused my pleas to make me whole, President Obama is my only hope. As a middle-aged African-American political science major and news junkie, I understand the fine line that President Obama walks daily in order to navigate the race issue as it relates to being perceived as favoring African-Americans over other races. As the leader of the Democratic Party, I pray that President Obama contacts Cuomo and requests that he investigates my case the unjust denial of the appeal of my disability retirement application, and that Cuomo takes corrective actions to make me whole by reversing denial of that application and rewarding me entitled back pay from my appeal. Just like Lily Ledbetter and women groups were encouraged by the signing of the bill named in her own honor, African Americans victimized by unlawful employment discrimination will be encouraged and motivated to participate in the election process in 2012 if New York State officials, in my case, and other employers are held accountable for their actions in tens of thousands of employment discrimination cases. Thank you very much.